He come, he come in the home of spirit. Listen. Hey, you don't, you don't got discussed with him at the end of the day. On, I can talk to a million people. Not like everybody that. gonna get this word. So that's what, that's what you gotta understand. That's our L, no, no, that ain't us. So that's our fuck L. him, man. He ain't coming out home spirit, up. man. To look us Proverbs up. Proverbs 1 and 20. Go ahead. Wisdom cries without. Uh -huh. She uttered her voices in the streets. Wisdom cries without. So if you calling yourself a so-called Christian, you looking for some kind of truth, it says wisdom cry. We read that again, bro? Wisdom cries without. Yep. She uttered for voices in the street. So if you want wisdom, where you, you got to go? You got to get this two in the street. Because when the Lord was walking, when he was on the scene 2,000 years ago, where he was preaching? In the street. In the street, man. Let me, let me That's get, plain. Right. Let me get the next verse. That's plain and simple. She had this common sense, man. She went in the building. She yeah. cried in the chief places of concourse. She said, the book, they said, hold up. Read that, hold up. The scripture's coming out. Order. That's order over here. Read that again, up. Verse 21, she cried in the chief place of concourse. Of concourse, yeah. In the opening of the gate. This is the opening of the gate when you see people shopping, buying. This is what, what we on concrete right now. You can openly come and ask questions. We not in the AC building, screaming on mic. But when the Lord was preaching to a thousand people, he had to have a deep voice. Because how the hell he going to talk to a thousand people if he had a soft voice? I know you grew up watching like TBN. And they show that white piece of pelt shit, what they call Jesus Christ. When he was speaking, he was like, all right, guys, peace and love. You look like a fucking hippie, man. The Lord had a deep-ass voice, according to Revelation, the first chapter, man. And that's, that's another common sense that you got to imagine, like, yo, man, he had to have a deep-ass voice. You feel me? But go ahead, bro. In the city, she uttered for a voice, saying, yeah. how long, you simple ones? Well, you love simplicity. How long you simple ones like this guy over here? He ain't gonna get the Bible, man. How long, talking about majority of our people too, how long we ain't gonna get the Jew, knowing that who you, um, you the real Jews according to the Bible? How long you gonna continue in port? Most sites ask the question, how long you gonna be simple, man? What? That's for him. Yeah, yeah. This is Rock 20 and 7. A wise man will hold his tongue so he see opportunity. See, he, he not wise at all. As soon as you go to school for the first time, what you do, you sit down, you got your pen and paper, and you listen, and you take all that knowledge in. You soak it in like a sponge. But that's why he said at an early stage, when you're small, kids rapidly, they, they start to learn. But when you come to this two, the real two, you supposed to try, renew your mind like a kid again. Meaning that you supposed to sit back and be humble and not, try not to teach when you don't know shit about, man. Go ahead. But a babbler and a fool. See, a babbler like this, one in his mouth, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Number stink breath coming out his mouth. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll be God no time. Yep. Hey, I bet you, 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 you never one day challenge your pastor. Yeah. You never, hey, see? Pastor, you going off. You see? But the hypocrisy of our people, we out here trying to show love. You come, nah, that's, that's not what it means. That's not what it means. Well, this mean what it means. The Lord gonna destroy you, man. That's right. That's right. Humble down, the Lord will destroy you, man. That's He's right. not gonna humble down, cause look at his face. He's smiling. He, he think this I'm shit a joke. Guys, he think this shit a joke, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have no man. Bullshit. It's bullshit, man. This ain't bullshit. This Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. He says his watchmen. Because we the real, we the real watchmen of the most high. Because we telling you, we the prophet. We telling you, the word prophet means to say before. We telling you what's about that. What's the martial law sign? Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. That's why it's bullshit. We telling you that martial law comes to your city. You go on YouTube and, um, and find out basic information about martial law. We telling you that the, the chip, which is the mark of the beast, according to the Bible, is coming soon, man. Oh, we know it's already out there, but it's going to be full known to the public real soon, man. But it, the scripture so said, this watchmen are blind. It's talking about these false prophets, man. They don't know shit. Like Ray Charles. They just, they blind themselves. They don't know what's coming. How much time do we have? got a scripture on there. But hold up, you going to finish this. Go ahead, bro. They are all ignorant. Yeah, ignorant. They don't know They don't know the truth. Because why they get paid off by the government. Go ahead. They are all dumb dogs. Most I call them dumb dogs. You know how stupid dogs are, man. Go ahead. They cannot bark. They cannot bark, meaning that they can't break down the scripture. Because nobody in the church ever challenged Pastor Porchop. 
I don't care any type of mega sized church or small church you go to, nobody never challenges the pastor. If you if you see somebody raise their hand and like ask the, um, the pastor a question, they'll be like, oh, put your hands down, we'll talk at the church. Because why? They don't want to see the whole congregation like to start to wake up like, huh, hmm, that's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The Lord said they are dumb dogs that can't bark. Yeah. Because the dog's job is to warn you when something's coming. These pastors in church, they're not telling you the RFID chip, which is the yep. mark of the beast, is signing the Obamacare. Yep. They're not telling you that Russian troops are here. They're not telling you ICBM missiles is going to be shot at this bitch by Iran, by Russia. Time. They're not warning you. That's why they dumb dogs. A dog, a dog job is to warn you. Yeah, yeah. So they could dim themselves, right? This shit kind of funny. I don't like to we, we see what's coming. Cause they they bring it in. You see, you see what they bring it for? You know what they use for war, right? Them shoots, the jeeps. They're ready to deliver thousands on trains. Emrex, right? That's the name of it, right? They they bringing it in here to all 50 states. So why the hell they just in that? Here in America, what they use that for war? He uses his work. What That's what's going on. Yeah. He's the boss. Yeah. Like he's go ahead. Go ahead. Them right. MRAPs, because Florida alone this already this got 47 of those. And they got, they trying to, they trying to um, legalize drones. To, to, the same thing that they used to bomb oh, them people overseas, they trying to use that on Americans uh, yeah, yeah, today, yeah. man. Right. The scripture coming out. Go ahead. This is John 2 and 24. No, 2 and 21. This is John 2 and 21. But he spake of the temple of his body. So he said he spoke of the temple of his body. So people, when the Lord was talking, when the Lord was talking, they thought he was actually finna get like bricks and shit and build an actual temple. It was talking about his body had been broken down. He had to be put on the cross. Wolves. They wolves, man. Yeah. They wolves. Go ahead, go ahead, bring it out, bring it up. This is, this is Jeremiah chapter 23. This is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Woe means destruction. Destruction to Pastor Creflo, Creflo Dollar, T.D. Fake, Joe Osteen, and all the local pastors, man, teaching bullshit. The pastors say woe unto them. Destruction. Right. Go ahead. Saith the Lord, therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. They feed them bullshit, man. The pastors ain't gonna feed you. That's why people go in there, they just sing and dance, drink cranberry juice. Come but soon as you come out of that shit, you, you still feel like something missing. You still feel spiritually dead. But you never heard nothing that we telling you right here, man. But this is the truth. Go ahead. Ye yeah. have scattered my flock and driven them away. Yeah, you scattered the people. Go ahead. And have not, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit. The Lord, the Lord said, He has not visited these pastors. If the Most High did not visit you, how the hell are you gonna get the breakdown to the Bible? Joe Osteen, go ahead. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. The Lord said He's gonna visit you. So when the Lord's high visits you for your evil doing, he means death. That's right. That's right. Straight death. He ain't gonna ward you with no damn balloon, man. He gonna bring death. But the Most High, he the one that kill it and make it alive. That's right. Go ahead, that. bro. It's Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse fourteen. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Like these devils over here, man. The way he transformed himself to an angel of light, like we read earlier. Lord said, what you do to um, declare my statutes? So you got these devils open up churches. Tell my man, we, we got food, we can come in. That's how they sweet talk you. Man, I feed you, you homeless, so you come in. But you would've went in there worshiping who? Satan. And you still would've been spiritually dead. You would've been bugged out to the point, man. I I'm gonna start selling drugs. I'm gonna start popping pills. I'm gonna start going to the club. Because why are you still spiritually dead? Right. Verse, 15, verse 15. Therefore, there is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. And we the only one that's righteous on the planet Earth. Because while we practicing the righteous act, we the only one that put down all the bullshit in the world, man. You see, brother, back here, 
We young men. We could be doing anything on the weekend, man. We could be hitting the club, popping bitches, but what? We gave ourselves, we gave ourselves to a living sacrifice to the most side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, um, he asked you 12 and 1, man, about the youth. Hold on, who's my read? Go ahead. He asked you 12 and 1? No, at the um, Proverbs. Well, that's what she was saying. If Satan transformed to an angel of light, of course, these pants is going to look like they look righteousness, but they ain't. That's why when you talk bad about church, so you talk bad about them, our people so quick to uh, jump up at you. Hey, check this out. This is that, that made a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. That made a lot of um, sense. This is about, about being a true at a young age. Go ahead. It says Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Yep. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. He said, the Lord said, remember your creator. Remember the heavenly father of the days of your youth. Remember when you're a young man in your late teens and early 20s. Not, not when you're old and rusty like these people in the church. They've been snuts and fucking game begging in their early 20s. Or probably even 30s. But as soon as they get at an old ass age, that's when I'm, they be like, oh, I'm going to give my life to Jesus. But what the Bible said? Remember now that creator in the days of thy youth. Yep. While the evil days come not. The evil days is talking about bad times. You got Obama. What is bad, this? We in bad times right now, but this is this is, this is walking apart. The bad time is coming when you're not going to feel comfortable to walk out outside your house. That's how bad it's going to be. You got saying? Yeah. 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 Anything else, bro? You don't know. know. What you say? What you is Ray Lewis? Uh, it, it's, he, he praying. He praying to a vagina, man. He praying to Mary. So Ray, Ray Lewis, he sold out too, man. Because if you watch that Super Bowl, that shit was different from all Super Bowls. That shit was weird. He had his, he had his handler. The handler is the person that that watch him, watch what he's spinning. Watch what, what type of place he's going to. I'm saying? Because he's seen that guy with the long yeah, black coat. So basically, he said, all these are Europe back then. You know, all these are called the Dark Ages. The dark ages. Yeah, these people right here, they, 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 they not in the book of life. Yeah, they worship Satan. They can't just tell you. They, they showing you. Otherwise, but otherwise, you. Bro, he yeah, was, it's clear, man. Even yeah. When it gets to a point, you had a favorite actor, oh, artist, responsible. Responsible. Bro, you were night. You were like, oh, not him. Yeah, you not know, Chris Brown, because we love him so much. Him but we're going we gonna to let you know, um, get Matthew. Get Matthew 4 and 8. We're going to let you know that you got to. There wasn't no mercy on us. We're going to prove to you that in, this, in society, in that first of all, no you got to know your enemy is, man. Give me Job 9 and 24. This you, is hold, you hold that, you hold that. Give me Job 9 and 24. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. First of all, you got to know. Read that again, bro. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Turn that around. Who is the wicked? The wicked is another nickname for the so-called white man. The white man is the wicked. He said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Who the one that's able to come out with the laws, push out laws, do whatever they want? Who the one that ruled the earth? The white man. The white man. Said, why? Because that's his blessing according to Genesis 28 chapter. The most I gave him the earth. It's temporary. That's why everybody work on these jobs. Yep. And they not really going to work. Yep. Read that again. Go ahead. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. It said the wicked covered the judge. Read that again, bro. The faces. Read that again. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who's the number one judge? The Most High. The way he covered the, the faces, he put he put out this image. This image came out the year 1553 to be exact. Because his, his father was Alexander the Pope, the Sixth of Rome. So this picture came out 1453. But that's when they was, they, was, they was ruling the whole planet Earth. Because he felt like, the Pope Alexander felt like, since I'm God, I'm going to paint my son to be like God. Because when you look at this picture, look real similar. But people pay attention to this picture. But look at this picture right here. It's the same person. So the way he covered the face of the judge thereof, he covered the Lord's face. But this is the real image right here of the Lord, man. According to the Bible, we're not saying that the Lord looked like this. But according to Revelation, that's how he looked like. Um, you know what I'm... Go ahead, yeah, yeah, this more than that. If not, where and who is he? So the most I've been sarcastic. If the white man not the devil, 
If he didn't do this, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? He'll, he'll be sarcastic. Of course he did it. Right back.